If the congregation itself is multicultural and you're the pastor of it, then you're going to know these various peoples because you're their pastor. And so you're, you are going to know how to speak into the issues that they've carried with them into the pews that day. And if they've chosen to come to a multicultural congregation, it's probably because that's what they're looking for in, the, in their experience of church. And so the times that I have spoken in congregations that are multicultural, including the chapel at our own seminary, which is multicultural, uh, I find very often I'm given the opportunity from the text to speak about otherness uh, that's still a part of the body. Various members of the body, um, no one part of the body is more important. Or to work out Jew-Gentile images, uh, who's the outsider, who's the insider, um, and how those who were once far off have been brought near. Uh, I mean, Paul's epistles are just filled, and so is the book of Acts, with opportunities to talk about diversity within the same congregation. And I think that's going to be necessary in most multicultural congregations. Again, they want it, that's why they're there, so they're looking for insights about it. But they also are going to need pastoral guidance for how do they actually live their lives together when they come from such different backgrounds.